We are in alert mode. Chief Meteorologist Mark Dixon uh, made the decision yesterday along with the team. We are in alert mode for today. Heavy rain, isolated, severe storms could be possible. We're already seeing lightning and thunder in parts of northwest and southwest Connecticut. Nothing severe at this time, but if it does go severe, we'll be the first to let you know. There could be some flooding, some street flooding, urban uh, flooding, some small streams and rivers and tributaries. Uh, could flood uh, with these excessively heavy rain bands that are going to be passing through the state today. So uh, once again, keep your eyes to the skies. If they look threatening, head indoors. There is even the possibility of an isolated tornado somewhere in the region. And of course, if that happens, we go on the air and stay on the air. Flood watch in effect for the entire state today. I've got uh, first alert live radar zoomed in on the area of concern right now. New Milford, Brookfield, Danbury, Bethel. You'll see all the lightning strikes that are taking place. So they'll let this pass you on by. Uh, I know it's a slow mover, but if you can give yourself a little bit of extra travel time this morning because we do have lightning and thunder in northwest and southwest portions of the state. I'm going to widen out the shot. You're going to notice there's uh, not a whole lot of action back to the north and west. We got to get there though first. This slow moving cold front is going to be with us throughout the day today. And that is according to First Alert Futurecast tomorrow's weather today. So 9 o'clock this morning, 10 o'clock this morning, 11 o'clock this morning. We've just got some real nasty weather in sight. And then by later on this afternoon, things start to quiet down. I think this might be a little underdone, but we'll certainly keep you posted. And then tonight we start to dry things out and we're expecting a much cooler night tonight with temperatures in the low to mid 50s with lower humidity. And that's going to be delightful. The severe threat today is at level one marginal risk category for receiving some strong storms. Let's take you out and show you Hurricane Lee. It is a category three. It is still out to see a lot of rhyming here, but uh, nonetheless, it is a menacing force and it's going to climb up uh, moving to the north, paralleling the eastern seaboard, but it doesn't have a direct impact on Connecticut, but we are expecting the fringe effects come Saturday. We're talking about winds gusting in excess of 25 to 45 miles an hour. We're talking about even some rain bands now in northeast and southeast Connecticut. You'll notice, though, the direct hit is going to be on up into Nova Scotia. And by that point, the storm will have weakened significantly. So that's some good news. So once again, here's the timing. Friday, most of Saturday is windy, blustery, and we are talking about rain uh, bands for northeast and southeast Connecticut, maybe inching a little bit further to the west. We'll keep you posted. Expectations increase in cloudiness, gusty winds, and rough seas. Now, if the storm does track a little bit further to the west, it'll have more of an impact on us. We'll keep you posted. But at this point, that doesn't look like it's going to happen. Mostly cloudy. It was a stunning sunrise this morning in Hartford and in Middletown. New Haven, good morning to you. Temperatures don't go too far at all today. A little bit of sunshine there in Middletown. And right now we've got temperatures in the mid to upper 60s for both uh, inland and shoreline, mid to upper 60s, although it is a bit warmer along the shore with that southerly flow, 73 and 75 in New Haven. The dew points are up there, 70 degree dew points. That means it's tropical out there. And tomorrow it all breaks as we're expecting lower humidity and a beautiful day. Forecast and highs today in the low 70s. And then your seven day forecast, a beautiful day tomorrow, pretty good day on Friday. Windy with maybe some bands of rain again in parts of the state on Saturday. Sunday looks pretty good. Monday, just a chance for an isolated shower. Tuesday also looks good. Now